Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you this uh, progress that I've made with my cubby board 2. So um, here is the cubby board and we are now, we've recently installed uh, Ubuntu, the light version, the Lubuntu to it. So um, here we are using SSH from Windows. We were we are connecting to our cubby board here because it's connected to the LAN and this LAN is connected to our router right here and it's connected to this uh, PC which we're using to interface with uh, the command line but the most important part here is that we're using the uh, program from this application called wiring CB Python it's a great program uh, shared by this user and I'm just having problems with the pinnings but I soon realized that there were just some reassignments being made so right here in this code I can see that here in pin 50 if you can see clearly there should be a pin 50 there uh, we're just looping and delaying 500 milliseconds while that is working in Vim while this editor is working in Vim served by the uh, cubby board we also have htop running and the actual program running writing at pin 50 so uh, as you can see here uh, this is my ground pin according to the pin diagram and the ground pin is connected to the uh, other side of the lead and the pin 50 or pin 1 according to the uh, cubby board official diagram it's pin 1 but for this program it's been 50 anyway so um, I connected it there in the the underside near the Ethernet port so we have it connected here as you can see we have the LED blinking at um, 500 milliseconds interval so there you go this is the uh, proof of concept uh, cubby board uh, using the GPIO using the GPIO input outputs uh, general purpose input output pins so it is said that it has 60 input output pins so we'll be testing all of them in the near future so the great thing about this compared to other implementations is that uh, for example in this video in this example we're using pure C compiled by C GCC so this has the advantage of speed because it is pure C you can't argue that this is pure C perhaps maybe there may be uh, some latency introduced because of the uh, because of the switching from the perhaps deep inside the API we're using for the GPIO maybe there are non C components there but as far as your program is concerned I think it's faster if it's implemented in pure C so there's also an option for Python but I didn't bother testing it because I'm planning to implement in pure C++ uh, for my project so uh, this is going to be great we're planning on involving a lot of networking and Node.js stuff so this is going to be a great project because we we now we have now seen that the GPIOs are working here it is the blue light is by the way the uh, heartbeat but uh, let's just consider the 